This may look like a shoe graveyard, but it's actually where shoes come for extreme makeovers. Shoes TV got a backstage pass to Pasquale Shoe Repair and found out how the pros keep our shoes looking so good. As it starts to unfold, this is where we, uh, we do all our magic. Here's where we work on leather finishes, uppers, stitch repair. We recraft a lot over here. A lot of people take this and you'll see glue coming out of everywhere. It looks terrible. Once all this gets bonded, you wouldn't even know that it was here. And so the life of all these shoes too is to give it that look. Mm -hmm. And you notice the finish on this, it just bonds so well. It looks like it was with it. And we've seen a lot of these that look like band-aids were thrown over it. So it's that kind of work, maintenance, uh, that they're doing here. A lot of this stuff too, like we're redoing, um, is replacing elastics on this, mm -hmm. the gussets. Uh, but even here, what the real trick in is, it's, it's not the ability to change it, but it's to show that it never was changed. What you have to do first is we use a, a, a solvent to take away the glue, so you can peel it without ripping it. I mean, the soles are coming out, heels are gone, so we're gonna re rebuild this whole shoe. What happens is we cuts it, he leaves it, now all of this has to get reset. So because this is all coming apart, we reset it, close it up, and then we do our leather soling on it. I'm intrigued by this machine right here. I don't know what it is, but it fascinates me. Well, don't put your finger in there. <laughs> say this, what this does, you see it? it? It drives pressure. See how it, it's like a primitive tool. You see, this is a foot, you see it? Oh, wow, okay. So what this does, now that you're in there, you know, this will take, see what it's doing right here? It's adding pressure yeah, to it. Right. So it's acting as a real foot. That's so right. you do something like this to ensure that when people put their foot in... It doesn't come apart. Got it. But now this, I mean, the pressure to this, I mean, is huge. You know, you can see how much torque is in this thing. Can I try it? Yeah, go. Here. Or is this illegal in the shoe repair oh. world? Go. Okay. I'm not, my body's not meant for shoe I'm repair. Saying, we resize, refit, like this one here, see it? This is done through heat, okay? So these were a little tight, and so what we're doing is we're making it bigger. So people can come in here with shoes that are like, I love these shoes, but they're a little too tight around the calves, or hey, I gained a little bit of weight, can you open these up? You can just do yeah. that for them. Well then, what do you do with the ladies that say, I've lost weight? What do you do? We make them smaller. We take them apart. Yeah, we take it all apart, we open up the boot and make them smaller. So here's where everything, it's the, dead, uh, the end of the line. This is where we do all our finishes. Uh, polishes, shines, colors, dye jobs. So we create the colors here. So it's not something that's over the counter. So what you're looking at, all the base of these colors, is it, it's the mixing machine by hand. And so you do it by eye. You know, as you're coming up with the colors, you've got to keep adding elements, thinners to it to get it the right texture and to get the right color. When you start looking at all of this stuff too, you know, we always cover it up. Uh, especially like all the delicate jobs like this, we always keep it under wraps. Even though we've done our part, you know, we have to do a little bit of cleaning. But, you know, care is always of the essence on this stuff. And so everything that you saw in the carts ends up coming back out here. What the girls will do, they'll take it, uh, they'll inspect it. If anything's not right, it goes back, it gets done, gets corrected, tweaked. Uh, and then they're put, all the orders are put together, so you have some of these on the shelves that are holding and waiting for partners and mates because sometimes, most times they don't bring in one, you have three, four, five pairs. And they're all at different levels of repair. So once they all come out, they end up here, they wait for them to group, then they bag them. And they go here. And they go here, they're, they're all done with barcodes. So if you look at all of this stuff, everything is with codes on it. And so we can go into our station and we track down all our customers. So you get to see some real great names in there. And this is our operation and you're looking at about 53 years.